Today, our cameras go to Situate, Massachusetts. It's a lovely, small seacoast community incorporated about 375 years ago. A great place to raise a family, and that is exactly what's going to take place with South Shore Habitat for Humanity's 46th family, the Sachatellas. All right, well, good afternoon. Um, my name is Ken Sullivan. I'm part of the local com uh, planning committee in Situate, uh, which is well represented here across the group here. And uh, thankfully, the rain held off. The ground has stayed somewhat firm here. We've got a little time to go. This is looking good. Um, uh, so we're very excited here, obviously. The first ever Situate Habitat for Humanity House. Uh, we're really excited. Some of those people are going to talk here uh, after I get started here. Um, uh, obviously, the Chris and his family are here. This is a, we're very excited to have them come up. This is a thank you very as well. Congratulations to them. Part of the process of, of building the house, going through the funding, and then getting to ultimately uh, getting it going is the family selection process. And um, we're lucky today to have John Seavey with us today. He's going to come up and say a few words. He's the chairman of that committee. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm John Seavey. I chair the Family Selection Committee. And this is a, one of the happiest times I have to uh, get uh, the word out on these uh, great occasions. The uh, Family Selection Committee does an application process within the town, and uh, the families that come forward apply to own the house. I'm assisted in this by Betty Crowley and Anita Ahern. Would you, would you like to come up? These special, these special ladies help us to evaluate the families that apply to own the house. We look at housing need, limited income, residency in the town, and uh, willingness and spark and we're trying to detect in the family because this involves some hard work. The commitment to Habitat and the national goal of eliminating poverty housing throughout the world is what we're trying to accomplish in a small way here in the town of Central. We had a number of applications for homes, uh, for owners of this home. Uh, one of the messages I'd like to get across is for the LPC, the movers and the shakers of Habitat, uh, interests in the town like Situate, there are many other families around you who could use affordable housing help from Habitat. So I'd like to urge the, uh, the folks from uh, the LPC to continue their work and identify other lots of land so we can accomplish our larger goal. Thank We started this back in about 1998, 1999, and it's been that many years looking for land. Um, we worked, we looked and looked. We looked in every place in Situate, underneath every rock, and couldn't come up with anything. Thanks to some of the town officials who helped us look even harder, they were able to come up with this piece of land. And seven years after that, we reconvened the local uh, committee and went into fundraising. Thanks to some very, very creative people, we're well on our way to raise almost all of the $130,000 needed to put this house together. The next step that we're working on right now is to find all of the loving hands needed to help build this house, to put the love into it for the family. So today is certainly a day that we want to celebrate. It's been a long time coming. But more importantly, I wanted to let you know that with the support of the Sagittella family and the people from Habitat from Humanity, we need to let you know what Habitat means to the community. While today is the beginning of a new home for a new family, there are certainly a number of families out there that are still looking for affordable housing. And with the help of the Sagittellas, with the help of Habitat, and with the help of the community, I'd like to continue that so that we can continue to build more houses and have this wonderful spirit continue throughout our community. So again, thank you here today, and thank you to everyone that's helped us along the way. Uh, the 
Uh, next person I'd like to introduce and come up and say a few words is uh, Colleen Wallow. She's on our um, uh, local planning committee as well. And Colleen is um, really the one who made this happen here today. Uh, all this effort, all this organization came from Colleen. I think a lot of people who are uh, working out of the houses could definitely learn from Colleen and all our effort here. But please welcome Colleen Wallow. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. And I'm really pleased that I felt a few raindrops, but it's not pouring on us yet, so I'll try to make this quick. Um, I am, my name is Colleen Wallow. I live here in Situate, and I'm going to be working with those Satchitelas as the family liaison for the project. Um, one of the things that the family liaison does is they work with the family to show them how to be successful homeowners. I'm going to act as a friend for them, and um, we're going to go to some classes together to learn about financial stability in a home, uh, taking care of your home, all the facets to make them successful homeowners. So that's my role. Um, one of the things that I think a lot of people don't know about a Habitat home is it takes about 500 people to build this home, whether they're actually banging nails or if they're just doing fundraising. I, I don't know too many people that have 500 people work on their home. That's a lot of people. So I urge you guys to come and build with us or to fundraise with us. Or, and if you don't know the Satchitelas, Chris is here every Saturday building. So come say hi to him, come meet him. And um, I know he's, he's probably great fun to uh, work with. I haven't actually come and bang any nails yet. I'm gonna paint, <laughs> that's my job. I can't bang nails, the house would fall down. <laughs> so, um, it is my great honor to introduce to all of you Chris Sacitella and his family. Thanks very much for coming. As many of you know, I work at the school. Uh, <clears throat> i worried about commute issues, actually finding my way to work. Uh, I don't think it should be a problem. But uh, I'd like to thank Colleen. Um, they're awesome. Uh, thank you for all coming. Um, the Habitat, it's a, it's a great organization. Um, Thanks again. Steve, I took the plastic off. We are going to have uh, one last song by the chorus at this point. Thank you. So a happy ending to a family introduction on June 3rd, 2007. It is often said that a house is made of walls and beams, but a home is made of love and dreams. And about 500 volunteers. So we'll see you in six months when we dedicate this home for the Satchitella family. That's it from Situate, Massachusetts.